There are so many types of insects in the world that it's hard to keep track of them. You might find yourself in the park wondering if the stinger flying close to your picnic is a wasp or a hornet. Even with a closer look, it can still be difficult to tell them apart. It's no surprise then that people often use the words wasp and hornet interchangeably. While these two insects are similar, they don't actually refer to the same thing. In fact, hornets and wasps are just as different as they are similar. If you're interested in learning more about the similarities and differences of hornets versus wasps, then keep on watching. Number 1. To better understand how hornets and wasps differ, it's important to look at their classifications first. Wasps belong to the order Hymenoptera and the suborder Apocrita. A wasp can refer to any narrow-waisted insect in the suborder Apocrita, excluding bees and ants. Wasps are insects that live in all parts of the world except for the North and South Pole. There are over 100,000 species of wasps, such as the yellow jacket wasp, tarantula hawks, and northern paper wasps. One of the most common wasp species, however, is the hornet. This means all hornets are wasps, but not all wasps are hornets. Hornets belong to the family Vespidae and the genus Vespa. Along with the yellow jackets, Hornets belong to the family Vespidae, which comprises around 5,000 other species of wasps. Hornets are eusocial wasps, which means they live in groups or hives where worker hornets look after and serve a hornet queen. While they can be found all over the world, most hornets live in the tropics of Asia. There are 22 species of hornets, and some examples include the Japanese giant hornet, the Asian hornet, and the European hornet. Number 2. From afar, hornets and wasps may look alike, but a closer look shows they have different physical characteristics. Because of their shared classification, it's no surprise that hornets and wasps look alike. They have three distinct body parts, their round heads, thorax, and abdomen. They also have big eyes, antennas, and membranous wings. Hornets and wasps also have three pairs of legs on their thorax. Hornets and wasps have different colors. One easy way to differentiate hornets versus wasps is by looking at their colors. Most wasp species have yellow and black rings around their bodies. On the other hand, hornets usually have black and white rings. There are a few exceptions to this rule, however, as the great black wasp doesn't have rings. Instead, it has a pure black body with iridescent blue wings. Hornets are larger than wasps. If the color of wasps and hornets still confuses you, then consider taking a closer look at their sizes. Most wasps can only grow up to 1 inch long, while most hornets can grow up to 2 inches long. In fact, the largest hornet is the Asian giant hornet, which was recorded at 2.2 inches long, with a wingspan of around 3 inches long. While hornets and wasps can both sting you, a hornet's sting is much more painful. If a hornet or wasp feels threatened, they can be very aggressive and sting you multiple times. However, only female wasps and hornets have stingers, so male wasps and hornets can't sting you. Hornets are much bigger than wasps, which means they can carry much more venom. Thankfully, while their stings are painful, they are usually not fatal. A person who is allergic to wasp or hornet venom, however, should immediately seek medical attention. Number 3. Aside from their physical appearances, hornets and wasps also behave differently. Wasps and hornets both have the same life cycle. Both of them go through four stages, namely egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Hornets and wasps also both build and live in hives. Because of these similarities, hornets and wasps mostly live their lives the same way. However, there are some differences worth mentioning. When laying their eggs, some wasps tend to become parasitic creatures. There are over 100,000 species of wasps, and some of them are parasitoids. Parasitoids refer to animals that live inside or outside the host while exploiting the host's body, food, and other resources. Parasitoid wasps usually lay their eggs on a living host, such as on the back of a caterpillar. As the parasitoid wasp lays its egg on the caterpillar, it will also eat the caterpillar alive. 
hornets and wasps have very similar diets with very few differences. As insects, it's no surprise that hornets and wasps have similar tastes. In general, they both eat insects, plants, fruits, and nectar. As larvae, wasps and hornets usually feed on insects. As adults, they both feed on sugars from sap, honey, and nectar. Parasitoid wasps and hornets also scavenge and feed on insects, spiders, and caterpillars. Between wasps and hornets, hornets are considered to be much more sociable creatures. Hornets live together in colonies inside hives. As you social wasps, they have a leader or queen, and each follower has a role in the hive. While some wasp species are eusocial, some of them are solitary. Solitary wasps, also known as hunting wasps, refer to types of wasps that live independently. While ground nesting solitary wasps still build nests in groups, each wasp still has its own little nest. Meanwhile, wasps are much more aggressive than hornets. As stingers, wasps and hornets can both be hostile against threats. However, most wasps are known to be more aggressive than hornets that prefer to keep to themselves. The bald-faced hornet, however, is one exception. Bald-faced hornets are the most aggressive out of all hornets and wasps. They will sting you even if they don't feel threatened, so it's best to stay far away from their nests. While both wasps and hornets live in nests, a hornet's nest actually differs from a wasp's nest. Hornets usually build their nests high above the ground. They prefer to build their nests on the branches of tall trees. Meanwhile, you can find a wasp nest on tree branches, on the ground, and even underground. The biggest difference between a hornet's nest and a wasp's nest is the entrance. A hornet's nest is completely shut. You won't find an entrance that other insects can enter. Meanwhile, most wasp species would usually build nests with a large and exposed opening. Number 4. Like most animals, hornets and wasps also star in their fair share of superstitions and cultural symbolisms. Over the years, different types of insects have appeared in historical texts, and they all symbolize different things. In general, insects usually symbolize teamwork and hard work, but they can also symbolize plague and destruction. While wasps and hornets also symbolize these things, there are also other ways to interpret them. In some cultures, Wasps symbolize desire, action, and perseverance. Wasps can also symbolize independence and being goal-oriented. If you dream of a wasp, it is said to be a sign that you should act on your dreams and goals. It may also be a warning for those who are resistant to change. In the same way wasps adapt to their environment, you must also learn to embrace the changes happening around you. On the other hand, hornets symbolize fertility and sexuality. For some cultures, hornets are symbols of success in relationships. They can be a sign to take things further in one's relationship. Hornets, however, can be aggressive, so they can also symbolize a negative outcome. Dreaming of a hornet can mean it's time to move your focus elsewhere for now instead of on your relationship. As totem animals, hornets represent guiding hands. They are lively and enthusiastic creatures that will show you the right path, even if it might take some time. Number 5. Different cultures also have different uses for hornets and wasps. Hornets and wasps have large populations all over the world. Because of this, many believe hornets and wasps could be valuable resources in science. Their venom, bodies, and even eating habits can help humans in different fields. Wasp venom is often used for different medicinal purposes. Wasp venom actually contains compounds that can kill bacteria. In 2018, Researchers at MIT discovered a way to make wasp venom non-toxic to humans. They created variants of the peptide that kills bacteria but leaves human cells alone. Their research led to an antibiotic drug that could target respiratory diseases and other infections. On the other hand, hornets help farms with pest control. Contrary to popular belief, hornets aren't always bad for your crops. In fact, hornets can actually help you with your pest infestation. Hornets feed on spiders and other insects, so they are natural pest controllers. They can even pull these insects out of plants, making it easier for farmers to get rid of stubborn pests. Hornets are a great natural alternative to pesticides that might be too expensive. As a type of wasp, hornets are bound to have many similarities with wasps.
However, it's clear now that hornets are distinct from other wasps. They each have their own unique characteristics that set them apart. Keep these facts in mind the next time you go hiking or head to the park. Now you can readily distinguish hornets from wasps, giving you more time to admire the wonderful and diverse nature around you. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.